In order to begin your campaign of cleaning up negative and inaccurate information on your credit report, it's important to understand the principle of when the life cycle of the debt begins and ends. The date of first delinquency is the date of beginning of the life cycle. Let's examine the life cycle of a basic debt. In this chapter, we're going to examine our options after we have uh, begun our campaign to clean up our credit report by negotiating a pay for deletion wherever possible, uh, where the people have been stubborn about that. Perhaps we've negotiated uh, an agreement in writing to not uh, respond to our challenge to a debt after it's paid. And by that, I mean, even though it is legal to pay for, delete, for them to delete a debt in exchange for payment, a lot of them just won't do it as a matter of policy, or they think it's illegal. It is legal, but they think it's illegal, or they just refuse to do it. Uh, sometimes you can get a person to uh, agree to not respond to your challenge to the debt. In other words, not to confirm the debt or respond to it in any way, in which case the credit reporting agency will take it off. Now, after we're done with that, we're left with some debts that just we just can't get rid of the easy way. And we have to begin uh, thinking about how we're going to approach them and where to begin. The date of first delinquency is the date that starts the cycle of seven years by which a, de a debt must be purged. Now, I, we all say seven years, and almost everyone honors the seven years, but the law actually says seven years plus 180 days. Uh, the 180 days is coincidental with the date on which debts are charged off by accounting principles. So uh, there's some uh, relationship there, but most, mostly everybody, the credit reporting agencies seem to honor seven years, although technically they could be left on for another six months. And uh, the life cycle of a debt begins on the date of first delinquency. Uh, most debts. Now, the most well-known ones that do not adhere to the seven-year rule are federal tax liens, which we discussed in a previous chapter. You can negotiate your way out of that, but uh, other than that, that will stay until it's paid. Uh, child support payments are going to stay there unless you pay them. Uh, punitive damages that have been awarded in an accident case, uh, those are damages by a court in addition to uh, what they call comp compensatory damages. For instance, if you were hit by a drunk driver, there could be a, a court award in which you're awarded a certain amount of money to pay for your, uh, your medical bills and your pain and suffering and a certain amount to uh, punish the driver. And those punitive damages, this is rare, but you should know about it. Uh, this is a matter of interest for cocktail party discussions, if for no other reason. Uh, are not subject to bankruptcy, uh, nor are they subject to be taken off credit reports. And uh, bankruptcies require 10 years for Chapter 7 and three years after the date of, of last payment in, uh, in the case of uh, a negotiated bankruptcy. Now, uh, credit reporting agents, agencies <coughs> are famous, or I should say infamous, for using the date that the collectors send in the debt. Now, by this I mean when, when uh, debt, whether it's a medical bill or any kind of a bill, or, telephone bill, uh, utility bill, any bill you, you can think of that's sent to a debt collection agency. Uh, the debt collection agency is usually the one that submits it to the credit reporting agencies. And the date of submission very often becomes the date on the uh, credit report, and, and therefore it becomes the date by which the seven-year clock is started. That is improper. You have to write them and let them know what the date of first delinquency is. Otherwise, they will use the date, and it could be several years difference. So you must remember that uh, this is something that really has to be watched for. It's the single most common thing that can be corrected on a credit report that does a lot of harm. Now, the debts, uh, as a, uh, you may make, you may have to uh, talk about partial payments uh, sometimes with a. Uh, debt collector in an attempt to get rid of it. That Many people think that re-ages it, that the partial payment becomes a new seven-year period, but that isn't really so. The uh, date of first delinquency is not changed by a partial payment. A partial payment can kind of freshen the debt up in the computer's algorithm and may hurt your score for a while that way. Uh, so for that reason, I don't like to recommend partial payments. If you can't pay the whole thing, uh, just wait until you can, because otherwise it's not doing your score any good anyway. Uh, age diminishes the power to hurt. The uh, 
computers tell uh, the people that uh, are interested in whether or not you're going to pay back the, the new credit you're looking for, that uh, as time goes by, it loses its predictive value. So if you have a debt that's five years old, six years old, and kind of closing in on the date of purge anyway, if you want to clean up your report, you should clean up the fresher debts first, especially if they're smaller. And that brings up another subject the, um, that's of great importance, and that is uh, very much misunderstood. The amount of the debt has very little to do with its effect on your credit score. For instance, a $500 debt hurts your score just approximately as much as a $5,000 debt. There may be a bracket for the larger debt that, that makes it a little more damaging, but the fact that is most critically important to the computer is the fact that you did have a problem. It's not the amount of the money. Anything over $100 is counted by FICO as a problem. So in that, case, in that scenario, since almost everyone that's cleaning up their credit reports certainly has a limited amount of money to deal with, the most important thing to do is take the most recent smaller ones and begin with them and work your way back in time. And if you have a larger one you can't handle, skip it, for now anyway, and keep working on the ones you can handle. Getting rid of a smaller debt will do you just about as much good as getting rid of a larger debt anyway. And getting rid of a more recent smaller debt will do you much more good than getting rid of an older, larger debt that is well on its way to being purged finally anyway, and has lost much of its power to hurt you. So uh, the amount is of little importance, and I hope that... Uh, this dive into uh, the uh, date of first delinquency has been helpful, and we'll uh, move on to the next chapter soon with a deeper dive into the FICO scoring system.